It's time for Chapter 29X Battle Preparations. We've re we've received word from Captain Fargus. If we come to Baden, he'll give us passage to the Dread Isle. Well then, let's get going. It would be best if we outfitted ourselves before setting out. We will need many supplies for a campaign on Valor. And the castle town here is better stocked than Baden, I'm sure. We can empty the coffers here and sell the treasures if need be. Hrumph! Uh, within limits, of course. Say, 30,000 gold? That seems a reasonable amount. Come on, I'll lead the way. Ostia's castle town is as impressive as ever. Shops and items of all types imaginable. For generations, our ancestors dedicated themselves to a sort of frugal militarism. Nobles and commoners alike stunned, uh, shunned extravagance. Corrupt neither the body or, nor the mind, they cried. Since the time of Roland, this has been the dominant ideology of Ostia. I heard that when Lord Uther first participated in the Lycian Council as Marquess Ostia, he gave a scathing indictment of the peer system. Now I understand. His philosophy had its roots in the history of Ostia himself, itself. That's right. Yet this thinking, it threatens the life lifestyles of many of our aristocrats, so some groups view my brother with enmity. I must grow wiser so that I can sit at my brother's side and aid him. Of course, my fighting skills are not yet what they should be. But this isn't the place for that kind of talk. We've got to get going. Come on. Yes, I will go with you. Curious. What is it, Lindis? Hector. He acts like such a brute, but he takes his duties seriously. Hector has always been a man of firm character. I've always envied him for that. His ability to conceal any doubts he feels about himself or his actions. I know. I'm a little envious too. Of what? He doesn't second guess what he must do. No hesitation. I mean, I wouldn't hesitate about anything concerning my grandfather's health. In fact, I'd be happy to do anything I could. I thought I was all alone in the world. And now that I've found my family, I don't want to lose him. I know what you mean. I can't bear to think of losing my mother. If I survive all of this, I want to be at my, bro my mother's side to do anything she asks. Nothing is more important than family. Yet in my heart, the plains still call me. The never-ending oceans of grass. The memory of that scent alone is enough to leave me weak. Lindis. Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get going, both of you. Well, first we must deal with the menace before us. If we can't stop L Nurgle, we lose everything dear to us. Let's go. Everything dear to us. Yeah. Well, it's once again time to prepare for battle. There are no enemies on this map. Just, uh... Well, just, uh... Just shops and places where you can get items and stuff. So, oh yes, we can use Nils in this chapter. Wait, wait, can we? Hold on. Oh wait, no, he can't take part in the chapter. But somehow he appeared here. Okay. Um. Yeah, I I decided to bring Fiora because she can access a lot of the shops more easily. And yeah, and we'll need that. We only have five turns to um to do everything we need to. And I intend to use every single one, every single turn on the arena. Also, yeah, um, welcome back to Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, at, last time, we, um, we, we fought off Nurgle's morphs inside Castle Ostia. And this time, we make preparations for our final battle. Yeah, <laughs> wow, I forgot to do an intro because it just start because there was no, like, map sequence in between, um, chapters but yeah i'll put kent here um and yeah uh there's as far as i know there are no secret shops in this chapter so i can send the member card back back to merlinus um i do intend to do a lot of arena training here especially for nino um and possibly elliewood and hector we'll see i'm not sure that's entirely necessary but it's really good to level the heck out of them. Um, and then Canis and Lucius, I can use for I can use as healers. Um, 
Hmm. Actually, maybe... Should I use Canis or Priscilla? Um... I think I'll use... Uh, I think I'll use, uh, Canis. Um... Hmm. Uh, and I'll... I'll get another heal staff for Canis. Um... And Lucius could use one, too. While we're at it, let's see how much convoy space we have. Um... Hmm. Do I really want a silver blade? Um, I don't want a steel blade. Steel blade will uh, throw away. Um... Steel lance, too. Uh, this is the point in the game where you, you want to stop worrying about, like wasting durability on your more powerful weapons like this you want to make sure you're absolutely like um ready for the road ahead um short bows are kind of weak compared to what uh what we're going to be using so i can sell those too um you're gonna be given gold to get whatever you need to in this map so uh don't worry about not having enough gold and Besides, we already have so much already. So, yeah. <laughs> um, just make sure you have enough uh, space in the convoy. Um, okay, wait. Uh, okay, yeah. Canis has a flux tone on him, so I can sell this one. And then... Hmm. Maybe some extra vulnerabilities as well that are somewhat used and again no more torches no more fog of war maps so yeah there we go and then hmm yeah i also i brought flyers to this map for rescue utility mainly and also yeah no auguries here because nils can't take part he's still grieving we got to give him some time. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> I could still give Lucius a rescue staff, but, like, I feel like I'd be wasting it by just, you know, okay, uh, by just using it to take Eliwood to the arena. Okay. Um. Yeah. Time to begin. Well, this is level four. Always good to get levels on him. Lord, he Lord Hector, Sir Oswin, I've brought you the 30,000 gold you asked for from the treasury. <laughs> we already have 60,000, so we just got more. <laughs> okay. First thing I'm going to do, send, um, send Nino to the arena. All right, and Nino starts the battle with a fire tome. But the druid counters with flux. Oh, and she dodges! Would you look at that? All right. Seems to be putting in the work. She takes a uh, she takes a hit from the flux tome, but she is still putting up a fight. If she hits the next two, she will have won. All right. Uh. Okay, good. Nino takes down the druid and gets some experience to boot. And some gold. Yeah. Um, this is the last arena in the game, and you only have five turns to use it. So, yeah. That's why it might that's why th in this game it might be a little harder to train up Nino than in uh, than like other games with late game growth units. Uh, but yeah, we can have Wrath visit this um this house weapons and items can help build your fortune you know you ought to search through any chest you come across uh, I think we know that we're almost at the end of the game buddy sorry uh, okay send Lucius over to help on um, help the, our, our arena br brigade here and we can have Kent visit this first shop now um, this shop sells um, 
Tonics, so that's um, Vulnerize Elixirs and Pure Waters, Door Keys, and, um, and some nice staves. Uh, I'm gonna get one Recover Staff. Um, I think we have enough heals. Um, actually, I'll get one more. And then one Restore Staff. I like, I like that. Then I can have Lynn visit this one. This shop sells axes, so that uh, that's iron, steel, silver, killer, reaver, and hand. So I'm I'm gonna buy a bunch of hand axes. I'm gonna buy like three hand axes. No, four hand axes. That those, those are the ones I need the most. Um, one sword reaver, one killer axe. Yeah, there we go. And then. Okay, who, where, where are we going to visit the next? Uh, this, this shop. It sells tomes. We can finally get the Divine Tome, which is a C rank uh, magic user, not a B rank one. That was my mistake earlier. Um, and yeah, I'm going to keep... I'm, I'm, I think two of those, uh, two of those work. Uh, now Lucius has the best magic he can have so far, unless you did Kenneth's version of, uh, of Pear Pale Flower of Darkness, in which you would have an Oratome you can equip on him. Yeah. And then, alright, Lin can visit this armory, and it sells lances! I'll buy one, uh, one Silver Lance, one Axe Reaver... One javelin, uh, and one killer lance. Yeah, I think we should be good on javelins overall. Um, okay, we have units basically lined up to use the arena. <laughs> and now, Nino's latest enemy, a paladin! Oh boy. <laughs> and Nino seems to be pulling her own weight just fine. She is doing her best. She dodges the enemy's iron sword and attacks once again with fire. And then she takes it down. She takes him down. Let's go. All right. Nice level up. Magic skill speed. Okay. There we go. All right. And Canis heals all right <laughs> yeah there are no enemies on this map save the ones in the arena um hmm. and then let's have wrath visit this here um armory this one sells all sorts of bows so um i think i'll buy do I need one extra longbow? I think I have one already. Um, I think I'm all good to go with bows, <laughs> actually. So I'm not going to buy any of those. Um, now, I'm going... Oh. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> you know what? I'm going to have... Um, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Um, Hector, take Nino and drop her. Um, oh wow, Ellerwood and Hector have the same amount of, uh, of experience and levels precisely. So let's have Ellerwood take on the arena. And he faces a Falcon Knight. What's he gonna do? All right, all right. And he doubles. All right. Good. All right. And he gets some experience from it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just because we don't have a uh, dancer or a bard here doesn't mean we can't make do with others, uh, with other units. All right, and Fiora, time to support with Florina. Florina? Yes, Fiora, what is it? 
Try not to get too far ahead of the front line. You can always ride behind and back me up, you know. Thanks, Fiora. But I... I have to do it my way. You can handle it out there alone, right? Well, I need to make sure that I can, too. Oh, but I worry about you. When we were in training, you used to get so scared. Yeah, but I'm fine now. Really? But the Kalen Knights are all men, aren't they? I just think of you, all timid and scared among them. So, Florina, you really don't mind it? Didn't they give you a hard time for being a woman? Now, if they did, I want you to let me know. Because I will tell them a thing or two. I, I'm fine. Lady Lindis took good care of me. And everyone was really nice. Oh? Well, I still worry. <laughs> that is so cute. I love, I love how, um... I love how, like, Florina and Fiora are in solidarity with one another. Now, Fiora and Kent can't get their, um, support level yet, uh, up yet, but we'll, but that's okay. Uh, now, yeah, um... Oh, yes, Lin can reach this armory as well, and, as you might expect, it sells swords. I'll buy one extra Killing Edge, one extra Lance Reaver, uh, and one extra Silver Sword. There we go. Oh, Eliwood. That warrior is no match for Eliwood. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what Eliwood does. <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll be fine. Yeah, he dodges both attacks. That warrior was no match for him. Alright, and Eliwood levels up. HP, luck, defense. Okay, okay. Alright. <laughs> it's Nino versus a Nomad Trooper. Yeah. Arena battles um, are usually much easier when you use promoted units. Because they have um, all, these experience, all this experience and stack growth uh, under their belt. Alright. Nino's about to level up. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm using rescue strats to take uh, to take um, multiple units to the arena in one turn. <laughs> yeah, you thought this map was about um, was about actually making preparations? No, it's about um, it's about um, a, it's about uh, using rescue strats to um, to go to the arena with multiple units. All right, Hector versus a Falco Knight. Falcon Knight! <laughs> it just remind me of Falcon Punch. <laughs> okay. Hector's doing just fine. Yeah, don't worry about wasting physic, because if you got the member card, you'll you'll be able to get um the, those soon too. Yeah, I moved Lucius over a little bit just to ensure that everyone could get back to the arena if they needed to. And Lucius is about to level up. Wow, nice. Uh, yeah, there we go. As far as I know, there are no like secrets here in your in your first playthrough. So yeah, we'll be fine. All right, Hector faces off against a druid. All right, what what is what do we got? Ooh, Hector cleanly sweeps that uh, sweeps that druid. He takes him out <laughs> and gets an HP and defense level up. Okay, not the best, but we'll take it. Now, Florina rescue Hector. All right, Nino faces a Falco Knight. All right, <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second, but I think Nino's got this handled. Yeah, she can double too. All right, Nino takes down the Falcon Knight. And levels up. HP, magic, skill, speed, resistance. Nice! Alright, and let's have Lucius just get that last bit of experience so he can level up. Alright! HP, skill, speed, resistance. Nice. 
He hasn't maxed any stats yet, but yeah, that's okay. And then just have these two wait next to each other. Alright, last turn. More arena using. using. Oh yeah, no. Alright, Nino is more than a match for this guy. Come on. Come on, Nino. Ooh, look at that! A critical hit! And a level up! Speed and resistance, okay. Okay, yeah. And then, time for Elowood to take on a druid. Yeah, this druid is no match for Elowood. <clears throat> Good job, Elliwood. You got it. Alright, and a level up! HP and luck. Not great. And our last arena fight with Hector against the General. The General Ostia of Ostia versus the General of the Arena. We shall see who prevails. And Hector wins it in a landslide. All right. Canis will get in his last heal just for some experience points. He's, he almost levels up, but he will soon. It'll be okay. Time to finish gearing up for the final battle. That should cover it. Let's head out for Baden. Then to the Dread Isle. Meanwhile, at the Dragon's Gate. Welcome home, Master. Limstella, look at this. The children's Dragonstone, what will you do with it? I will infuse it with quintessence. This is... The Dragon Girl Ninian's Essence. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. With this, I will be able to call dragons whenever I please. Shall we begin the process right away? No. I lost some quintessence from the entries I took from Athos. To summon the numbers I need, I must have more essence. One must be fully prepared when dealing with dragons. If they wrested free from my control and killed me, all would be for naught. I fear to report that the quintessence from the Black Fang has all been used. Where shall the next harvest come from? <laughs> all the materials we need are heading this way even now. I see. Elliwood and friends. That's right. I will crush them, steal their essences, and call forth my dragons. <laughs> Well, our enemy prepares for our arrival while we prepare to face them. Our two options are victory or death. Next time on Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade, we finally confront Nurgle and his morphs at the Dread Isle. Until then, take care. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, turn notifications on, and I will see you soon.